Well, this is a great story. An extra special birthday celebration today for an equally special man from Noblesville. He happens to be a World War II mm -hmm. veteran. And you could say he's taking 99 <laughs> to some new heights yeah, today. You bet. Dustin Grove shares this story and the message for all of us in tonight's Inspiring Indiana. Let's make a way up the airplane okay. here. On John Haynes' 99th birthday, oh, there, you go. Here it is. there was all the usual celebrating with family and friends, but and this, and you're, and you're, you're here. You your remember left, that. Bring your left foot up, your left here. foot forward a little bit. Is the go. icing on his cake. Take your time, just work your way down and feet on the uh, wood. I said, hey, would you be willing to take my dad up on his 99th birthday in, in this ceremony? He says, absolutely. Are you comfortable, Mr. Haynes? Oh, yes. Okay. Pilot Trip Kelleher was happy to help with his 1941 Boeing Stearman. Not just any airplane, either. This was the plane built to teach Navy pilots how to fly in World War II. I love flying. I, I uh, got my wings in the Navy. Teenage pilots like John Haynes. I had about 100 hours in Stearman. And so, on what couldn't be a more perfect day for flying, up and away they went for nearly an hour, joined by several others for a birthday celebration in the sky. What does it mean for him to be up in the air today, you think? <sighs> Aviation has been in his blood and in my blood for years and years and years. And so for him to be able to get up and do this today is really, really special for him. After the war, John enjoyed a career with the FAA, first as an air traffic controller, then an inspector. For him to get up and, and fly this is just, uh, he's like a kid in a candy store. Man, it was fantastic. I love this airplane. And no matter how many years go by, some things you apparently just don't forget. Oh yeah, for a little bit. He shook the stick, was ready to take over the controls and flew around for quite a while and just did beautifully. I got to sit there and enjoy the ride in the airplane and I was perfectly comfortable with him and he was a gr in great command of the airplane. At one year shy of 100. I don't know what 99 is supposed to feel like, but I feel, I feel fine. As a pilot himself, John's son Robert feels grateful. He was my flight instructor. Yep. To have learned from the best, a member of the greatest generation, who all these years later is still inspiring. They've, they've still got an awful lot to teach us. And you don't know, realize that, that that man in World War II was a, a leaning fighting machine that is just uh, time and age has taken its toll, but let, let's respect our seniors. They're, they're amazing people. What a beautiful story. Yeah, John Haynes. Love yeah. That. Happy, happy birthday. Yeah, back. I'm glad you were able to celebrate like that. And that he had good weather for he, that as he well. He did.